Hi family, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the time of the day you're watching this. Melita here. So in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you a final review and update on the Lost Curve 25 Steel Boom Waist Trainer. All right, as you remember, I've been trying on the Lost Curve 25 Steel Boom Waist Trainer. And the first one I used was the one with zipper. And it's right here. And now I've been wearing the one with hooks for the past two weeks as well. Now I'm going to give you an update on how it did for two weeks. Uh, uh, which one got it? I cannot find my tape measure. So yeah, I think, but I ordered a new one. I've been looking for it for a minute, but I, I know how to tell you when I lose inches. So if you remember when I put it on two weeks ago, I was on the second hook. Since I cannot find my tip measure to measure my waist, but what I know from this waist trainer is that they're an inch apart. So once you move from the first hook to the second hook, that simply means you have lost an inch and you're moving on. So excited. Yes. So that means I lost like an inch already. And uh, it is a bit loose. So that also shows that I'm going a little over an inch and a half. Now, the difference between the 25 steel bone and the traditional is the traditional, it takes me two, it takes me a month to lose two inches. And uh, for a month, I wore the uh, 225 steel bone and I lost an inch and a half of each. So basically, if you total it up together, I lost three inches within just a month all right but with the 25 steel bone you cannot just go wearing it just yet especially if you're just starting up waist training you have to wait if you're just starting up waist training and you just want to train your waist and you do not have weights on your midsection i definitely recommend you going with the 25 steel bone because usually you can wear it from anywhere to from four to six hours but if you have mid session, like when I started, I had too many weight on my mid session. So I, there's no way possible I could have started with the 25 steel bone and just wearing it for four to six hours was not going to cut it for me. So I started with the traditional. So if you are like, if you still have mid session, definitely start with the traditional. But when you lose that mid section, I'm telling you, get the 25 steel bone. You will not regret it. It really molds your body and help you get rid of whatever left on um, pouch that is left there it molds your curves to what it really needs to be okay let me take it off so you can see how i look currently without it on during the uh, on time of the two weeks of wearing this waist trainer the 25 steel bone i was able to go a little like i was able to go at least seven hours wearing it actually Whew, my stomach is sweating. That is good. It makes you sweat really good. That's what I like about it. I really like it. It feels good. And uh, yeah, this is me right now. Again, my pouch is almost disappearing. My curves really, like really are popping out now. Like my love handle. I will insert a picture right here from when I started. You can see the difference. Like I almost don't have any more love handle. My waist, my tip measure ruined. That's why I can't measure my waist right now. But um, once I get a measurement, I will put it up here for you guys to actually see. Cause oh uh, yeah. So pouch has disappeared. Waist is very snatched even without the trainer on us. So yeah, these waist trainer are really good. And I like them both. But if I had to pick, I would pick the one with the hook simply because I like the look of it. Not because the um, zipper one is not doing it. It did its job perfectly well. So yeah, let me put this on real quick. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. And uh, I will show you guys, I will do some videos showing you how to um, wear this underneath clothing. Because if you want to have more wear hour in it, you can't just uh, wear it for around the house. Because not everybody likes to uh, 
let people know that they're wearing waist trainer i don't have problem with it personally i don't mind my waist trainer showing i usually sometimes wear it like this and walk around and do stuff around the house in the yard and stuff like that i don't care but um uh, i will do two videos one will be showing how to wear the traditional underclothing and how to wear the um 25 steel boom because they're both structured differently all right i'm just gonna fix it real quick so remember what i told you guys when you are wearing your waist trainer and you feel like your stomach is bulging out all you have to do is just um put your hands in here and swoop whatever fat there is up here and you will be fine because they come with a uh, torso length so you do not want to get the wrong torso length just because you feel like there's fat budging out and then you go ahead and get a uh, long torso when you need it a medium torso is going to be a problem for you okay and um yeah because i had a comment that said um she said she thought i should have gotten uh the medium torso and i had to explain it to her like it's better you put your you pull the fat up instead of getting a longer size because when it comes to sitting down when you go sit in it can actually poke you and uh, you will not be comfortable so bye